Remember the Leveson inquiry? It lasted a year. It heard from hundreds of witnesses and it addressed one of the most important issues in society today, how journalism works in a democracy. The fact that they had cameras in their hand meant that that was legal, but if you take away the cameras, what have you got? You've got a pack of men chasing a woman and obviously that's a very intimidating situation to be in. Those papers who are Eurosceptic are perfectly entitled to be Eurosceptic. They're perfectly entitled to highlight things in Europe that are wrong. What they shouldn't do is, frankly, make up a whole lot of nonsense about Europe and dish that up to the readers. I think people in public position, with public responsibilities, and I'd even include press proprietors in that, I don't think they're um, entitled to the same privacy as the ordinary man in the street. The one thing I am determined not to do is to produce a document that simply sits on the second shelf of a professor of journalism's study for him to discuss with his students as yet another attempt no. that went nowhere. Everyone had their say at the Leveson Inquiry, from police chiefs to ordinary reporters, from newspaper editors to people in the street who had experiences of the press. Six years on, all of that evidence, all those arguments, all those views are in danger of being forgotten. Now Kingston University is launching Discover Leveson, putting almost the entire record of the inquiry at your fingertips. There are state-of-the-art search tools, video and text seamlessly linked, a brief biography for every participant, and short essays introducing the big themes such as privacy, regulation, phone hacking, the internet, all pointing you towards the key evidence. It's a huge new resource for anyone interested in the law, in politics, in media, in history, in policing, in lots of other subjects. It's free, it's accessible to everybody. Why don't you take a look? DiscoverLeveson.com